What up, Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you the confirmed FIFA 17 player ratings for Manchester City and Chelsea. So let's kick this off. I'll try and go through this quite quickly. So if you do want to see this in depth, I'll leave the link in the description, but I'll just scroll through as quickly as possible so you can see these. Um, I'll pick out, you know, players that um, are of interest. Obviously these bronze players, the youngsters, um, only Manchester City fans will really be interested in because there isn't too many good ones. Um, obviously this, in, well, Iniacho, a lot of people will be interested in and perhaps he deserved a higher rating and uh, also maybe more skill moves. He's not going to be used as much as he probably should because his card doesn't look too good. I mean, 87 pace with 6 foot 2, it's not bad, I suppose. John Stones, he perhaps deserves a bit of a higher rating. 78 overall doesn't make him insane, but he's got some alright stats, to be honest. Um, his passing maybe should be a bit more since that's what he's known for as a centre-back. Willy Caballero, 78. Delph, 78. Fair enough. Kolarov, 79. Fair enough. Same as Fernando, keeping his rating. Leroy Sané, perhaps, perhaps deserved to be a bit higher. Maybe 80, 81, maybe even 82. But uh, 79 seems a little bit low. Clichy, 80 rated left-back. Not too bad. Uh, Navas keeping his rating, I think. Or was that a downgrade slight? Anyway. Fernandinho perhaps deserves to be a bit higher, but all his stats are 75 or above, so looks very good. Zabaleta, 82 rated, looks like a solid right back, even though he doesn't have a lot of pace, he was good on FIFA 70, uh, FIFA 16. Bakary Sanya getting an upgrade, deserves it, 82 overall. Sterling, keeping his rating, he's only 21, he wasn't great last season, but he's had a great start to this season. And uh, yeah, I think a downgrade would have been a little bit harsh, so it's, it's a pretty similar card to his FIFA 7, uh, 16 card. Nolito getting a bit of big upgrade, deserved that from his La Liga card last year. Yaya Toure getting a downgrade, hasn't made any of Pep's 18-man uh, squads yet, so probably did deserve that, but his stats are still incredible, so he'll still be OP on FIFA. Otamendi, 85 rating now, going up from an 84 last season. Claudio Bravo, obviously a disastrous debut for Manchester United, but goalkeepers have been upgraded across the board, and we'll see how he develops, see if he can you know, improve in his first season in the Premier League under Pep. Gundogan definitely deserves an upgrade and I'm surprised they've gave him it but he does deserve it and he looks like a very very good centre mid option 85 overall with 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot Vincent Company getting an upgrade to his 86 rated centre back one of the better defenders in the Premier League now Silva we've already seen 87 De Bruyne 88 and Aguero 89 but we've already saw those so the next team we'll go is Chelsea and uh, again, I'll scroll through the youngsters. I mean, they've got 38 loans, so I'm surprised they've even got any left. But Anya is one I would have been interested in. 78 pace, though. Maybe he deserved a little bit more. I know he's quite fast. Uh, Chalaba. I know a lot of uh, Chelsea fans rate him. And uh, maybe in the future, he'll be one to watch. Same as Loftus-Cheek, both 68 rated. Then the new signing, who is a left mid, surprisingly, on this. Uh, they've bought him to play left back sorry if you can hear my phone but um yeah non-rare 77 so he'll probably be a discord player van ginkel i'm surprised he hasn't been loaned out victor moses broke into the uh, chelsea team under conte well he's made the bench a few times so he might actually get a chance at chelsea this season uh john ogu mikel the legend the full-time whistle uh keeping his rating i think vanovic 80 rating a little bit of a downgrade i'm not sure many chelsea fans will disagree with that Kurt Zuma looks like a very, very good card. 80 rating. I think that's one better than his January upgrade, so he definitely does deserve that. Looks like a very good card. And Golo Kante. Now, this card I've already seen, but I would switch his shooting with his passing, and uh, everything else is fine, but I'd give him an 83 or an 84 overall. I think 81 is way too low, considering Riyad Mahrez is 85, so uh, that's perhaps a little bit low. Batshuayi, a lot of Chelsea fans will want him to be higher because he was the third highest scorer in League One, but I think 81's fair enough. If he does well for Chelsea, he'll get a January upgrade, of course. Cahill, 83, keeping his rating but dropping a little bit in pace, fair enough. Begovic, because of the goalkeeper upgrades, he, he's got one, but obviously he's back up to Courtois in this game. 83 rated Oscar, he started this season very well, so... You know, a downgrade, perhaps a little harsh, perhaps deserved to keep his 84, but we'll see. Pedro keeping his 83 with his five-star weak foot. John Terry getting a downgrade. Kind of expected that because of uh, EA being ageist. His, his pace is ridiculous. 
Uh, as Pelaquea 84 rating though definitely deserves a, a nice big boost for him. Unfortunately he doesn't have 80 pace but still looks like an overall good card. David Luiz, he's going to be one OP motherfucker. I thought we got rid of this prick from the Premier League but no, he's back to ruin Ultimate Team once again. But uh, no, nah, he looks like an OP card and uh, I'm sure he'll be in a lot of sweaty Premier League teams. Nemanja Matic keeping his 84 rating. Didn't have the greatest season as a lot of Chelsea players didn't last season but he does look uh, solid and maybe he did deserve that. Uh, William, the one shining light for Chelsea last season, 85 rated, definitely deserves that. Good upgrade for him. Looks like an incredible card with a lot of pace. Diego Costa, a little bit of a downgrade. Probably didn't deserve it. Probably deserved to keep 86 or maybe even go up. He's had a great start to this season, scoring four thus far. Cesc Fabregas, a downgrade, I believe from an 87 deserves it but he's still got a very very good card and then their best player oh no it isn't my bad Eden Hazard 88 we've already seen that and we've already seen Thibaut Courtois who is their highest rated player purely because goalkeeper's got an upgrade and why the hell have they added Sergio Aguero he doesn't play for Chelsea but they've put him on the Chelsea page because EA now we'll see if there's any other teams no there isn't but when they are confirmed like the Man United ones the Real Madrid the Bayern Munich etc I'll bring you another video so hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah